let's look at the user interface of Axia RP9. Uh, up here we have the menu and if you're on a Mac you will have one of the menus, the drop down menus is Axia RP9, that's where you'll find your preferences. If you're on a PC that will be within the file menu. The file menu will allow you to um, create new documents, open documents and save documents. You can edit your document, cutting, copying, pasting, finding, replacing, but most importantly spell check, please use it. View allows you to change your toolbars. You can uh, recover your panes if you accidentally close one. Panes are these areas down here that allow you to control what's on the page. You also have uh, rulers, grids and guides, which we will be using, and masks you can use as well. Under the project menu, we have the style managers for widgets. The widgets are the elements that appear on the page and the page style manager, which controls the web pages themselves. We will also be using adaptive view sets here, which uh, is designing for different size devices. Arrange allows you to put things in front or behind other things, align them, distribute them and you can lock them as well. You can also create masters here uh, like you would do in InDesign and you can create a dynamic panel which we'll talk about later in the semester. Publish allows you to view your Axia RP file as a website. You can preview it which means you'll just view it on your computer. You can publish it to the Axia Cloud, which we will do later in the semester so that you can share it with clients. Or to create a final website, you can generate HTML files. We'll talk about that later in the semester. Don't worry about the team menu. We're not working in Teams. Account is where you can log into your Axia account. Uh, window allows you to swap between any files you have open at the moment. And help is where you can go for help. Your selection mode, if we move down here. So the first selection mode is select intersected and that means anything I touch with this marquee select is selected. This one here which means it's select contained means that uh, unless I am surrounding, oops, surrounding the item it's not going to select anything so that's, that's selected simply because I marquee selected the entirety of it. Don't worry about connect, insert, don't worry about too much because most of what we put on the page will be widgets but here you can actually draw objects and put shapes in. You can edit those objects and shapes using the edit points tool here. Uh, this just repeats what we saw before by moving things forward and back. You can group or ungroup them. This shows you your level of zoom and your alignment. We have preview over here, so that gives us a view of what our website looks like uh, just on our computer. If I click on that, we can see that's what the website looks like. Share means you're sharing it to Axia Share, and the login is where you should log in with your student license details to activate your Axia license. If you haven't gotten onto that yet, please do so now because you need to activate that before your trial expires. Down here with pages, these are all the pages of our website. Uh, it will start with page one. I tend to rename it index because that's the default name of the home page, but you can rename it home or anything you like. If I go to outline, we can see this is the page we're on. We can see the elements on there. Now, right now, they're not telling me much. I don't know which image is which. You can actually go to the right to what we call the inspector pane over here and change the name of your widget. So this might be a cat picture. If I click over here, you can see it's renamed. And the other one might be a dog picture. And you can do this for all of your widgets and it makes it a lot easier to keep track of all of the items on your page. I'm just going to drag this up so we can see this more clearly because the pane below it is our libraries pane and that is where we get our widgets to drag onto the page. Um, so if I've got a paragraph there I might drag another paragraph. Um, I can drag other images over. 
Um, and you can see that it also helps me align these things on the page. If I click on masters, this gives me any masters that I have created. Oh, another thing, you see that we've got the plus, which is add master, but on each of these, we've also got add folder. So if you have a very, very complex website, you can add a folder to um, organize your elements. The same goes with your pages here. We can create a new page or we can add a folder. Another way we can create a new page is right click, add, and we can create more pages there. We'll talk about that in one of the tasks coming up. Over to the right, we have the inspector pane. We have the style. Please leave the fonts as is until we do web fonts, but this is where you can um, deal with colors. Uh, so that's the font color. This is the fill color here. Shadows, you can change corner radiuses and padding as well. Uh, when we deal with the interaction styles, this is where you will find that. And if you're working with a developer and you need to write some notes to them about particular elements on the page, this is where you can do that. Okay, so that gives us the user interface of Axia RP9. Thank you.